Woody? Hello? Yeah, are you still coming with us to the Chautauqua? Yeah, I got my own way there. See you there. Okay, cool. We'll see you there. Okay, he's just gonna meet us there. Okay, this sounds good. Great. Sweet, let's go. Let's go. Hey guys, where are we? I think we're lost. Where's my car? Oh, all for a squirrel. Hey, what's this? Looks like matches. Neat. Matches are actually an example of animal byproducts. Did you know animal byproducts are any animal part used by humans for other than human consumption? Actually, I did know that. Production of matches is dependent on the use of animal glue in the head of the match. Animal glue is a protein gelatin that is the result of boiling various parts of the animal, including the hides and the hooves. Animal glue serves the dual purpose of binding both the ignition chemicals and the fillers to the head of the match, and also creates an oxygen-rich environment in the head to aid in the ignition and combustion processes. That's actually really cool. Maybe uh, we could find some other animal byproducts out here. Yeah, for sure. Maybe we should split up and meet back in like five minutes. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah sure. What's that? Oh, looks like some marshmallows. Delicious. Do you know, actually, these are an example of an animal byproduct. Really? Yeah, they uh, take the gelatin from cows and pigs' ligament and tendons, and they boil it into a liquid, and that's what makes them so thick and fluffy. Originally, they actually came from a marshmallow plant. Uh, they took the root, and that's what made them thick and fluffy, but it was so economically expensive that this is a better alternative. Huh, that's so cool. Yeah. I never would have thought of that. At least we won't starve tonight. That's very true. Hey, look, it's a fire extinguisher. This could be useful. Yeah. Some fire extinguishers, especially older varieties, contain animal proteins. These proteins form, na form natural foaming agents, which actually have a higher heat resistance than the synthetic brands. However, it may create a horrible stench, and it also can contain prions, which is a threat to biosecurity on farming operations. These prions can infect cattle and cause mad cow disease or VSC. Hmm, that's interesting. So cold. Hey, look, what's this? I don't know, what is it? Uh, soap? Really? Oh, yeah. Huh. Soap is actually an animal byproduct as well. Yeah? Soap is created from the lard from pig's abdomen, as well as it has calpuric acid in it, which comes from cow and goat milk. Weird. Yes. How strange. I'm thinking we should actually head back. I yeah, know, it's been about five minutes, we should I probably get so. going. Yeah, let's do it. Hey guys, any luck? Yeah, not really. Just a few things. Yeah, that's too big. Yeah, I just, I really don't know how we're gonna get out of here though. <laughs> Wait, what's that noise? I think it's a helicopter. Oh my gosh, we're saved! Look, you're still making this your taco in time. Wait, what is that? Woody! Hey guys, grab a little this rope. Woody flies a helicopter? Grab the rope. Hey! It's made of horse hair, so it's an animal byproduct. Don't worry though, I made out of tail hair as opposed to the mane hair, so it's a bit coarser, but it's gonna be more resilient, so you won't fall off. Come on guys, come on up! It's off to the Chautauqua!